This is Mr. D, your teacher of the games, and welcome back to the Pokemon Shining Pearl Nuzlocke Challenge. So let's go ahead and get into it, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, so I've got a little confession to make. I actually wanted to level up my Pokemon a little bit, and so while I was doing that, unfortunately, Bruce and the Boulder actually evolved into their next evolutions. I feel bad, I'm sorry, because I wanted to show it to you, but now that there are these evolutions, I can actually trade them now, and I can get their third evolution forms, which I am really really excited about all right so i got one of my mods from youtube to actually come help me out and he's actually gonna trade with me so i don't have to worry about people stealing my precious pokemon and running away with them ah! <laughs> it's happening <gasps> oh, there's my boy look at him there he is <laughs> See, now I'm getting my golem back too. Like, oh, I love this. Childhood dreams fulfilled. Okay, now that I've gotten that taken care of, it's now time to go kick some galactic douche butt. And uh, so we can go rescue the dude, the bike owner who's in here. So that way we can get our bike. Yep, <laughs> as soon as the music kicks in. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm sending out the boulder. I wanna, he's gonna destroy this guy's Pokemon, but I'm really excited to see him in action. <laughs> <laughs> just, just look at the comparison, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That is awesome. Okay, now it's my champ time. You want to fight? Yes, you do. This is going to be great. <laughs> hey, let's uh, break open your cocoon a little early, huh? <laughs> See what you got inside. <laughs> Whoa, a Kadabra. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so this must be the bike owner because he's a middle-aged man with a balding pattern, right? Eh, did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> Commander Jupiter, eh? And I just noticed I'm, I'm farting stars. <laughs> yep, poison gas, not surprised. Yo, you gotta turn around and use your other end, dude. whoop -a! Yes, got him. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shopper, okay? Yep, I figured. <laughs> He's gonna thank me with a bike. I've come to collect, old man. Thanks for rescuing me. I can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike to show my gratitude. Who would have guessed? Okay, now that I got my bike, I can now proceed through this place that only allows bikes. So we are set, and I think I'm gonna make it to the next city and the next gym here pretty soon. Two hours later. Oh, hey, it's Don. Well, I was just about to say, like, I finished the cycling section and then Dodge pops up. I see. You want the Versus Seeker. I'm impressed, Mr. D. You know what's important. You obtained the Versus... Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, I didn't know this was going to happen. Okay, show your butt to me. Jeez, rude. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. <laughs> what is it with their butts, man? You know... I'm thinking a fire type like a Ponyta would actually be really, really nice. I think I'm just going to try throwing a Pokeball at it. <laughs> no freaking way. Those of you who've seen Avatar, all right, I love that show. And so I'm naming this horse Flamio. Flamio, Hotman. Wait, Mount Coronet? Wait, what the heck? I thought I was going to be heading to... um. The next city with the next gym. Oh, oh, Ooh, what the? <gasps> He's got the G. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weakened and complete strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. Bye, have a great time. Okay. <laughs> Imagine some dude just walks up to you and he's like way older than you. He just shares with you real quick how he thinks the world is being ruined by humans. And then he just walks off. It's like, okay, thanks, bro. Oh, finally. Finally, did we make it? Yes. Okay, we are finally in. Yes, Hearthome City. Well, it breaks you, but that's impossible. You're wondering why? And the answer is she's not here. Come back another time. What? She's not here? Come on. Come on, I want to get the third gym badge. Is this her right here? Oh, I'm so sorry. Please, excuse me. Are you entering a super contest show? Oh, ho, ho, ho. enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fantina, the Hearth Home Gym leader, also happens to be a super contest show expert. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fantina. Sorry, that's probably a terrible, terrible accent. No way. Ta-da, can't be winning again, Mr. D. Let's see what's tough for you, and I've gotten right here now through the music. We're about to fight. 
Hey, you're a trainer now. You're expected to be ready for battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. Oh, dude. Oh, no! <laughs> Flame charge! <laughs> Man, I'm really glad I picked up this ponytail. All right. Douse is a... Oh, mock punch. Oh, that means he goes first. Okay, we're good, though. We're good. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Taste my fart water! You killed my team again! This messed up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever! Oh man, what a pathetic rival, dude. I kicked the crap out of that guy. No way! Zappy just got to level 30 and is now going to enter the third evolution, the final one. I'm excited for this because I haven't seen this Pokemon yet. Oh, dude, that is a bad mother. Looks like an Egyptian dog and cat like mixed together. Whoa, you are one m ugly mother trucker. <laughs> but if you look at that thing, it looks like it's having like an existential crisis. Help me. Like, look at how wide its eyes are. <laughs> no way. Ponu's already evolving too? Man, I'm just making my way to the third gym. I'm not trying to like get anything done. Oh, there's just so many trainers I have to worry about. And it's go time. Torterra. <laughs> what? Another root? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. This is taking so long. I've never seen a Pokemon game take this long to get to the third gym. Like, this is just absurd. Please tell me that this is the place. Yes! Veilstone City. Finally. It is about freaking time that we are here. This took so... Oh, it's, it's a fighting gym. It's fighting Pokemon, right? <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> and now we can start putting our effort towards solving this dumb puzzle. Okay, so it's all about just sliding these little things to their appropriate positions so that way we can, um, you know, get to where we need to be. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I come in through here, run up here, push this bad boy over, and push that. And now we have access to the gym leader. Oh, thank heavens. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Aileen and I'm the gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader. <laughs> but I'll do the best I can as the gym leader. I take battling very seriously. Whenever you're ready. Oh, it's on. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Honu is going to be my main guy here. Well, Earthquake, take this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> didn't miss though, did it? <laughs> Dude, get wrecked. That did three damage. Yeah, okay, one hit KO. I kind of figured Earthquake is incredibly powerful. Super strong move. Lucario, okay, level 30. We'll see how this goes. Okay, that actually didn't do too much damage. I think we're all right. Yes, it hit. Was that super effective? Yes, it's super effective. <laughs> that gym was actually super, super easy. I'm so glad that I got it done though. Like that took so long. Yes, gym badge number three. And with that, this episode is officially over. Your homework is to simply go and watch my other videos and leave a comment. But other than that, class is adjourned.